What's up guys, I'm Frank, and in this Arma 3 video, I'm going to quickly show you how to open up the animation viewer in the Arma 3 editor. Um, in this animation viewer, you will be able to view animations and also get the class names for those animations. So to get started, we're going to click on the unit creation tool here in the top left, and then double click on the map where we want to create a unit. It doesn't matter where he goes, just click OK. And then next, click on the, the trigger creation tool, which an icon that looks like a flag, and then create this trigger by double clicking on the map uh, near this uh, unit that we just created. Make sure it's a rectangle, and the size doesn't really matter. Uh, let's set the activation to blue 4, and in the on activation field here, paste the code that is in the description of this video into the on activation field, and then click OK. Then preview the mission, and as soon as the mission starts, we should get, uh, flicker into a animation viewer, and you'll be able to view all the animations, uh, well, almost all the animations in Arma 3. You can't view vehicle animations as far as I know, but you could view animations for like live uh, characters basically but you won't be able to view static I item or object uh, animations as far as I know and here's the animation viewer you hold left click to move it around with your mouse and then you move your mouse around to drag around right holding down right click will kinda rotate the camera zooming in and out with the scroll wheel pretty simple shit and then anyway uh, you can set what he will look like this part doesn't really matter what he looks like will not matter in the animation. What does matter is all these uh, settings here. So if you want to have like a sort of a cinematic kind of animation, you could do shit like that. And all these are the uh, the class names right here, where my cursor is. And there's all kinds of animations. And if I were to, if I want to copy it, you just double click the animation, or it'll open it in the config viewer, and then you just highlight this part right here. This is the class name you want. Press Control C to copy it, close, and then move on to paste it into a line of code in your other mission where you actually want to use this animation. Or if you just want to look at the animations, then that's cool too. But anyway, hopefully this video is useful. The next video I'll make will be showing you how to actually make units use these animations. So I'll see you then.